every bomb that was dropped in Normandy, two bombs were dropped off the Pas de Calais. When the strategic bombers were bombing the interior of both France on destroying the transportation network, but they, when they return to England, you don't land your aircraft with bombs mm. uh, on this planet. So they'd always ditch the bombs prior to returning to England. If they flew over here, they were always ditched here. Most of what you end up seeing out here are air, uh, the results of aerial bombardment. Not mm. just the, not just the D-Day, but in the months prior to that. Mm -hmm. uh, naval gunfire will have a, a flatter trajectory and everything else. But again, most of the damage that is that you see today is in the months prior to D-Day. Because you're only going to have roughly about 40 minutes on D-Day for both aerial and uh, naval uh, bombardment. What you end up seeing here, this is, uh, this is in contrast of what we talked about at Pegasus Bridge. Where if you recall, he said in that case, it was an individual who was selected for the mission. In contrast here, this is a, a unit, a team, that was selected for the mission. And that was the Rangers. Uh, you know, everything that we talked about, we, uh, I don't think it's necessary to, to kind of go over everything we talked about, uh, you know, at San Marigliis. But the same qualities that are required in the leadership for the uh, airborne, the same selection process, you, you have the same thing for the Rangers.